Alright, howdy guys. Uh, we're going to do things a little differently today. For one, we're not going to film five minutes of my face rambling on. I'm actually going to show you how to do stuff. So, um, then afterwards I'm probably going to do a little show and tell. But for now, um, I'm working on uh, my extra ammo pack that goes on my left arm. And I did get my shoulder, my arms done, my forearms are all done, so, but let's continue on. Uh, these attach to the upper left arm, so, and these are my ammo packs. Um, I got these at Sears, I don't know what they were, they were just sitting in a bin for like two bucks each, <clears throat> excuse me, and they had little craftsman symbols on them, I carved those off, they were just sewn on, easily taken off with a knife, but, um, as you can see, I took a piece of nylon fabric and I'm sewing them to them. Um, of course I had to pinch it here because I put too much uh, space in between these. But So hopefully they only go like that. But anyway, um, what I'm doing is called a straight sew. And um, how I'm going to be doing it, you guys will be reviewing saying, hey you're doing it wrong. but. It's because it's, these are really thick. This bottom part's really thick to go through, but I'm going to show you real quick with a demonstration. And I'm using white thread so you guys can see it that and I don't really care if it is seen. It shouldn't be seen because it's this is going to be on my arm piece so nobody will see it. So but this is how you properly do a s straight sew. You just kind of put your needle in, weave it through and then you pull it through and you get this nice clean edge. But it's not attached, so I already have my thread, I put a knot in the end. And forgive me for all this being sloppy. The last time I actually hand sewn something, I was like eight trying to get my sewing badge in Girl Scouts, okay? So I'm just gonna weave it through. Just like that. Now see a normal straight edge you would do that several times, but like I said, it's so thick that that's the smallest I can get it. Alright, and that's what that is. See? And I do this several times through. Um, so I can try and force it through on this other end. I think I hit a knot. But anyway, um, I'll do this twice just to make sure this is thoroughly attached. So, as you can see, I'm going to reach this edge here and then I'll go backwards. Do. -do, -do. Do, 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 do. So yes, how was all your guys' day? I'm sure it was eventful. Yes, fun, good. All right, there we go. So that's my first time through. Now I'm gonna go do it again, but backwards. I keep pricking myself underneath because I want to make sure I get it through the bottom side, which is the important part. I hope you guys can still see this. So there we go. Bam. Done. Alright. If I can grab it. And there we go. So now it's attached, but now I have to sew it off. And again, like I said, excuse for this being sloppy, I'm not accustomed to hand sewing anything. So why don't we need a sewing machine? Well, because that costs money. <laughs> <laughs> that and I would not use it very often. I'm sorry, Grandma. I know you would love to just give me one, but I highly doubt she would watch this. She'll probably chastise me, like, what are you doing? For those who haven't guessed by now, my grandmother loves to sew. She's made my wedding dress when I got married. Very talented woman. But, alas. That's neither here nor there. I'm trying to get it through. There we go. Without getting the rest of it. And I'm just tying it off at this point. Alright, that's done. And since I am ghetto and I don't have a pair of scissors on me at hand, pocket knife works just as well. There we go. Bam, there we go. Now I have it all done. And these are my extra ammo pouches, like I said. 
I don't know what they were. Um, they were a utility belt of some sort because they also had the pouches themselves had clips on the back along with a belt loop. So I don't know what they were. Um, but my cell phone fits in them, so when I wear this armor, my cell phone's definitely going in one of these pockets. And, now that that's gone, let's fix stuff, and I can show you guys a few things. So please bear with me on camera movement. Because, you know, I'm just really dumb. I don't have a tripod like I should, otherwise this would be easy. Whatever. I don't know what to do anymore. I just have this stuff topped on a bunch of things that I have lying around. Alright, there we go. So, I got my arm pieces done. You know, I got them done. I got my little details that I said I would add. Um, and I got my elbow parts done. And of course this is all painted. Um, if you want to know how I did this battle damage that you see all over it, um, go to my DeviantArt page on canius.deviantart.com and uh, I made a tutorial on how to paint it. Um, it makes it look, you know, realistic that you actually wear. And I was actually looking at the pictures. That's where this one came from because it was on the picture that I have. And the rest I kind of just made up. Like this one right here. Um, as I was smoothing down the side, I caught it accidentally with the thing, with my Dremel tool. But it makes lovely paint over job with it. But as you can see, I did what I said I would. I attach these all with an elastic band. Mainly because it helps give that elbow a little bit of flexibility. So. See? It moves with my elbow. Now, um, just wearing these around, it does fall down, but. I will be adding some more, a clip actually, it will be attached to a clip that will go underneath my shoulder pad and onto my chest plate, and that will help it from falling down, and that will keep it up. But that was my right arm, here's my left arm, which is the purple stripe, and then this will go here, alright? Hooray, I actually did a how-to video for once, and instead of just, you know, look what I'm doing kind of thing. <laughs> I hope this does actually end up helping some people, otherwise I don't care really. Um, and I did get some lovely little comments saying, hey, you should probably, you know, get some subscribers and such. I'm not doing this for subscribers, I'm not really doing this for views. I'm doing this to help other people see what I'm doing, because I'm an artist. And it helps to actually see what I'm doing instead of just having pictures around. So. But regardless, I do love you guys. So anyway, um, so yes. But now that this is done, I'm going to hot glue this to my left arm, not my arm, but that arm, and then it will be done. Um, I may have to trim it a little bit because I got ghetto again and ripped it off with my knife. I need to find my scissors. I really don't know where they are. But this is beside the point. So um, for more helpful tips for sewing. You can YouTube it. There's a um, creative sewing group that does them, and that's how I learned how to do it. Um, they're very helpful, and she has a better camera angle on what she's doing. <laughs> so, but that was simple. Um, straight edge is good for support. Um, if you do it like a close stitch straight edge, um, or a straight sew, if you do it a close knit, then it's good for supporting, but. Um, it's good to hold things in place, which is what I just did. So, other than that, cheers, guys. I'll talk to you later. Go to bed.